When men began to increase on earth and daughters were born to them, the divine beings saw how beautiful the daughters of men were and took wives from among those that pleased them. The Lord said, My breath shall not abide in man forever, since he too is flesh. Let the days allowed him be one hundred and twenty years. It was then and later too that the Nephilim appeared on earth. When the divine beings cohabited with the daughters of men, who bore them offspring. They were the heroes of old, the men of renown. The Lord saw how great was man's wickedness on earth and how every plan he devised by his mind was nothing but evil all the time. And the Lord regretted that he had made man on earth and his heart was saddened. The Lord said, I will blot out from the earth the men whom I created, men together with beasts, creeping things, and birds of the sky, for I regret that I made them. But Noah found favor with the Lord. This is the line of Noah. Noah was a righteous man. He was blameless in his age. Noah walked with God. Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth became corrupt before God. The earth was filled with lawlessness. When God saw how corrupt the earth was, for all flesh had corrupted its ways on earth, God said to Noah, I have decided to put an end to all flesh, for the earth is filled with lawlessness because of them. I am about to destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood, make it an ark with compartments and cover it inside and out with pitch. This is how you shall make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, its height 30 cubits. Make an opening for daylight in the ark and terminate it with a cubit at the top. Put the entrance to the ark on its side, make it with bottom, second, and third decks. For my part, I'm about to bring the flood, waters upon the earth, to destroy all flesh under the sky in which there is breath of life. Everything on earth shall perish, but I will establish my covenant with you. And you shall enter the ark with your sons, your wife, your sons' wives. And of all that lives of all flesh, you shall take two of each into the ark to keep alive with you. They shall be male and female, from birds of every kind, cattle of every kind, every kind of creeping thing on earth. Two of each shall come to you and stay alive. Two of each shall come to you to stay alive. For your part, take of everything that is eaten and store it away to serve as food for you and for them. Noah did so just as God commanded him, so he did.